On the front lines of two world wars, Native Americans from more than 30 Native nations used their unique indigenous languages to encrypt tactical communications in the heat of battle. My fellow Diné or Navajo people served on one of these elite teams, and they are known as Selaltsua or Code Talkers. Yat e and hello. I'm Jackson Brossi, and I'm a member of the Navajo Nation and a former executive director of the Navajo Nation Washington office. I grew up on the Navajo Reservation in Sethachi de Haskana, or Red Mesa, Arizona. I learned to speak the Navajo language from an early age from my grandmother. Today, I'm honored to share with you the role that my language played in helping our country secure numerous victories in the Pacific Theater during World War II. As the U.S. entered the war, our armed forces needed a way to quickly and securely transmit tactical radio messages on the battlefield. Throughout the First World War, they used Native American languages to create an unbreakable code. But they knew the Germans and Japanese had sent scouts to the reservations after the war to learn these languages and were hesitant to use them for a second time. This was before they learned about Navajo. Philip Johnson, the son of a missionary couple who grew up on the Navajo reservation and spoke the language, saw the potential for using it to create a code. He told the Marine Corps, because Navajo is an incredibly complex language, rarely spoken outside the Navajo Nation, it would be highly unlikely an adversary would understand it. The Marines saw the potential and recruited the first 29 Navajo code talkers in 1942, tasking them to develop a code using their language. This took creativity and a lot of imagination. There were no words in Navajo for things like tanks, ammunition, or squadrons, so the code talkers turned to everyday words from their language to describe them. They used the Navajo word for a destroyer, thotso, or shark. They called bombs, eggs, or yenji, and tanks were tortoises, or chetagahi. By the end of the war, their codebook had more than 600 words. They also developed a phonetic alphabet system to encode words that were not in their codebook. They assigned an English word to each letter, then translated it into Navajo. One of the words they used for the letter A, for example, was apple, which is translated in Navajo to belasana. Simple, but highly effective. This system allowed code talkers to encipher, transmit, and decipher spoken messages in mere minutes or even seconds. Existing code machines could take 30 minutes or even hours for longer codes, and most historians believe the code was never broken. Despite their heroism and selfless service, the code talkers didn't receive any public recognition for their work until 1968. Since then, three American presidents recognized their outstanding contributions. The gold medals they received were inscribed in Navajo. With the Navajo language, they defeated the enemy. Our unique language, once banned, became the foundation for a code that saved thousands of lives during a devastating world war. And their story is a lasting reminder that diversity is our nation's greatest strength.